Hello. Now, this is a bit different one for you. I just thought I need to explain this for people because people don't understand fulcrum, lever, base. This chair thing, look, it's on a lever. This bolt here is the fulcrum. And let's assume this is the base here, right? So you can't go past that. If you try going past that, it's going to break, isn't it? But it moves nice and easy just here, just like your elbow moves nice and easy like this. And once it gets to a certain point, it's locked out. You go past that point, it wants to break. Same as this. But you need a firm base, don't you? Because if my um, elbow's locked there, if I can still move it like this, it's not going to break. But if there's a base there, you can break my elbow. And this is your base. So you've got your fulcrum, your lever, and your base. So as long as you've got all of this in place, everything kind of works for you. And the longer that lever, the easier it is to break the joint. So opening that from there, you can do it with a little, little finger, can't you? From here, it's more difficult. Little fingers, you've got to pull harder and harder on it to make it work. So the closer you get to the fulcrum, the more difficult it is to break the joint. The bigger the lever, the easier it is. The smaller the lever, the more difficult it is. So, whenever you're looking at a joint, you want leverage, don't you? A lot of people are doing locks and stuff like that. They understand to do a lock this way, that way, whatever, but all you need is the principle fulcrum, the lever, and the base. Many times when people try to apply locks and they're pushing here, they've got a short lever and they can't get the lock on, whatever it may be, and they, they're under the misapprehension that you're stronger than you are because they're trying to apply it down here and they can't do it when it only takes finger strength up there. So when we teach a lock, and we show you with finger strength like that. It does not mean that we will fight with finger strength. Mm -hmm. We're showing you that the leverage is that good that you only need finger strength to make it work. You would still, of course, apply it full strength, full speed, full power, and absolutely destroy the joint. Down here, when you've got a very short lever that isn't going to work very well for you, people are applying loads and loads and loads of strength and not making it work so well. So they then think that when we apply finger strength, they're imagining we've got the same lever. So they then say, oh, that's bullshit because we can't work with finger strength because I'm using two hands. No, it's because your leverage is wrong. Now think of that lever, think how you can apply it to locks, and think how you can defend with it. Think how you can also strike with it. I can only show you, up to you to learn it. See you later.